I'm Booker Don Darrow, and welcome to another edition of the news. In breaking news this week, we take you to Creighton, Alabama, where local residents have been on the prowl for a little Irish fellow that seems to have inhabited a large oak tree. Our trusty field reporter, Brian Johnson, has the latest from this earth-shattering tale of innocence lost and what may be mass hysteria caused by community-wide use of tainted crack cocaine. Take it away, Brian. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community, many of you bringing binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I got to do look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? Yeah! yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Nice sketch. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. Yeah, still on there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy, helping to direct traffic, says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This was all smells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great-great-grandfather, who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I'm going to run a backhoe and uproot that tree. I want to know where the gold is. I want the gold. <laughs> Give me the go. I want to go. And thank you, Brian. Where can I get a flute that wards off spells? eBay? Craigslist? The black market? I bought an old gypsy woman peddling snake oils and cures for 100-year-old curses. Or maybe Walmart.com. Speaking of Walmart.com, the latest rage is sending your loved ones into the afterlife in a cheapo Walmart pine box. Here the casket sail at Walmart. Why don't you come on down? to mention is that if your pet croaks, they still got your back. Well, 
we forgot to mention is that if your pet croaks, they still got your back. Made in Taiwan, these balsa beauties come in an assortment of sizes, stains, and price ranges. What's that? Can't afford this? Well, Walmart also covers a wide selection of used caskets. Don't believe us? Then just ask this loyal Walmart customer. I trust him. Well, I reckon you come on down to a Walmart and you just get yourself fixed up with one of these, uh, what you call used them, uh, casket coffin thingamajiggers. And they got the, uh, I think it's made out of, uh, cedar. Well, that, that, I reckon it, I, my nose is kind of stuffy right now, but I'm pretty sure it would smell like cedar if I could smell right now. But I got one of them, uh, colds down and I contracted from my sister because she went up in the mountains and it was cold up there and then the change in temperature down here I think really got a little cross-pollination going and got her, her sick which in turn we ate the same oatmeal and uh, <clears throat> this week in sports requires a speedo, a wheel of cheese, your wife and some crystal meth. Leading off the assortment of amazingly breathtakingly unusual weird clips is Dana Kunze's pursuit for diving perfection. Wow, that was a mouthful. Speaking of mouthfuls, get a load of this.